This time of year is definitely a time to be thinking about how we are so grateful and thankful with Thanksgiving just around the corner, Christmas, and just knowing how blessed that we are in whatever we have. And I just want to encourage you today to just think about what things you are thankful for. Thankfulness is sometimes difficult to have and being grateful as homemakers, as stay-at-home moms. There's so many facets to what we do in our situations, um, even if you're a working mom, if you stay home with your kids. But having that mindset of thankfulness is, I just think it's so important for us and it helps guide our kids. It shows our husbands that we are grateful for them and thankful for what they do for us as well and how we can love them. I just just had our, our women's group had an event and we talked about how hope leads to thankfulness. And there's so much hope in this time of year. And I also just want to share that I am so hopeful and grateful and thankful as we are expecting baby number three. So I'm sure a few of you had had some assumptions that that was coming, but we are going to be having baby number three mid-May. I am, when I'm filming this, I'm 14 weeks along. And so I am past that first trimester and I am actually so thankful to be past that first trimester. This has been my hardest pregnancy so far out of, I have two little ones, a three and a half year old and a one and a half year old, um, two little girls. And so this one has just been challenging with nausea and fatigue, um, wanting to get out and move and exercise. So it's just definitely been hard on me in that physical way and emotionally that has kind of brought me down because it's just been something that I always do. I love to get out and do things when the girls are napping, but this pregnancy first trimester, I was definitely down and out during their naps. I made sure to nap when they napped. I went to bed at 7.30 when my toddler went to bed and it was just hard and hard on my husband. So I'm very thankful and grateful to be out of that harder season and hopefully on an uphill slope this second trimester. Still having some nausea in the evenings, still a little tired in the evenings as well. So going to bed a little bit earlier than usual. But this is a time of hope. Um, anytime someone announces a pregnancy, a birth, a new life coming. It's just such a grateful time and just makes me think of our Lord Jesus Christ and his birth coming here at the Christmas season. So yeah, baby number three is coming. I know some of you like watching these like pregnancy update videos. So I'm just going to share a little bit of uh, what first trimester was like. I did share nausea and tired. Um, I definitely snacked a lot more because that seemed to help keep the nausea at bay. I would wake up nauseous and need to eat pretty much right away. And then about three o'clock I'd hit a uh, slump of not feeling good the whole rest of the time. So it was almost an all day sickness feeling. I always had the urge to vomit, but never did. Thankfully, I'm so grateful that I have not ever had a pregnancy where I needed to throw up or vomit. So that was just harder too. And I, like I said, then I had no energy to go take my girls out on walks. Um, it end of the garden season, I kind of let go. Um, you probably noticed I didn't film much for the like end of the garden season gardening. And that's because I just, I was done <laughs> with my garden. My husband cleaned the rest of it up, hauled all the plants away. And so it just was hard too, cause I felt like I was being wasteful and not taking care of those things but I was just so exhausted and smells got to me I did not even want to deal with the rest of my tomatoes I didn't want to deal with cooking green beans I just the smells of things were <laughs> very bothersome um, and I found out at about four weeks along so we have known for 10 weeks already at this point quite some time that we are expecting we are not going to find out the gender for this um, baby, so we'll be surprised either way if it's a girl or a boy with how I'm feeling. I know they say like the more sick you are, it's a girl. Um, 
I don't know. I've had friends who were really, really sick and throwing up and they had a boy. So I'm not gonna assume anything, but you know, either way, it's a blessing to have a girl or a boy. But that, that is just where we are at. And so grateful and thankful for this new life that we are going to add to our family. And we are just so excited to have baby number three create a family of five in our uh, 1,000 square foot home. We'll make it work with the space we have. I don't feel like we need a lot of space with just having a baby. So it'll be what it is. And I'll share some updates along the way. If you wanna see like a trimester update, um, definitely let me know in the comments because I know there are quite a few of you moms, stay-at-home moms, who like to hear things like these as well, these stories and just about pregnancies along the way because that's where you're at as well. So anyways, yeah, there we are. We're having another baby and due mid-May, like I said. So again, so grateful and thankful for this time of year and just counting the blessing of this little one that is to come in the spring. And I just hope and pray for all of you that you are feeling grateful and thankful and blessed with what you have in your life too. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and if you're new, I hope you stick around for future videos. I do more like homemaking, decorating, simple living, and um, thrifted living as well. So anyways, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and talk with you in the next video. Bye.